been quite a while. I hope you guys had a good Christmas, holiday season. Uh, the new year is like literally tomorrow. Time to pull out those new year's resolutions, set your goals. And one of mine for the new year is to stop neglecting my YouTube channel. <laughs> I am so sorry, you guys. I've been promising you guys videos and then uh, not providing. It's been since I think September since I last uploaded a video in which I updated you. You guys a little bit of a wrap up for our first uh, quarter of the year. And we just wrapped up our first semester earlier this month. So today's video is all about that and how it's been going over here. I was being more consistent over on Instagram. And then this last month, I just kind of fell off social media. Um, I didn't intend to, I didn't mean to not be on it much um it just kind of happened been enjoying myself uh knitting reading my family my kids my husband but i do miss this and i've been having every intention of coming on here and updating you guys so then i can kind of start again and um and stick to it thank you so much for joining me today if you are new here my name is janet i am a stay-at-home mom uh, homeschooling mom of two boys and this is our third year homeschooling i have several videos about my plans for the school year and then again my last video was an update for our first quarter and then this video is going to be an update for our first semester and i'm just gonna piggyback off off last off my last video since not much has changed have not changed our curriculum we found curriculum that works for us that works for my kids and we are enjoying it most of december was uh just core subjects math reading language arts and lots and lots of crafts um but we are getting back into it uh we're picking up our uh, history and science I have a whole video on the curriculum that we are using for my second grader and then um, for my kindergartner. He's more of TK. So curriculum hasn't changed, still the same. We just haven't been doing everything every single day. The only two things that we have added, have not mentioned here are what I'm gonna talk about today, our binders. So I've mentioned that we did keep, keep our, our work in these three ring binders. Um, but it was work for the week. And so every week I was switching them out with the following week's work. And um, that got old real quick. I was accumulating a lot of paper. A couple years ago during the summer, I decided to uh, organize our summer work, summer curriculum uh, in these three ring binders, but they were divided by the week. So I am putting it all in here and I have divided it by the week. It ended up with some lessons on the front of one page and then the next lesson on the back of that same page which was a little complicating it reminds me a lot about the filing of the filing system i've seen so many families use this filing system but it feels too permanent for me and i already see myself having to rummage through these file folders to reach for work for either a previous week or the following week for one subject and then for another subject i'm like on week seven it's too much i love planning my 36 weeks i have it all laid out i like having some sort of a roadmap, but i also like the freedom to be able to switch things around and if i were to do it in file folders i don't know i it, the pressure of having to stick to it would drive me crazy so instead of dividing everything by the week I am dividing everything by the subject. So these, each child has their own binder and it is divided by subject and it holds about six weeks for each subject, except math. Math is just a big chunk of his workbook. For math, the math pages are three hole punch. So it was easy to just organize it like that. But then the other subjects, since the workbooks were not hole punched, um, I did have to use these sheet protectors. You could hole punch it, but I didn't want to take away from the page, ruin some pictures. So each lesson is in a sheet protector. For reading, each lesson takes us two days. Sometimes it takes us one day, depending on how short or how um, how much review work he needs. Uh, so that will be done however long it takes us. 
but it's one less than per sheet protector, so it's easy to track. It has just really simplified my uh, planning process of getting ready for each week. Uh, it's just so much easier. Another thing that we have been doing to just help with the clutter, the loose paper, the paper clutter specifically, um, are these notebooks so these spiral notebooks i shared with you guys in my um back to school shopping haul but i didn't really know what i was going to use them for and they have been amazing <laughs> they are kind of a catch-all copy work extra practice that the ch the the kids need whether it's um david's times tables or copy work for his times tables Diego, this is he's been using it to practice writing his name um, for letter recognition word families prompts like uh, draw a picture of yourself or draw a picture to match the sentence and i'll read the sentence to him and then he'll have to go ahead and uh draw the picture um to match the little story that i've written down i don't have just a bunch of paper all over the place it's in here now David's, my second grader's uh, history uh, curriculum and math and logic of English, they all include copy work. It's just all in here, which alone is just enough because if not, I would just have a bunch of uh, loose paper flying around everywhere. So the new year is tomorrow and I'm super excited to just like dive into what we have left of our school year, um, start preparing for the next school year. And this year, I didn't share much with you guys. I've missed you guys. I uh, I miss this, the filming, the editing, and then I miss talking to you guys about curriculum and plans and all of that. So I am sorry I just left you guys alone out there. Alrighty, guys, thank you so much for your patience. Thank you so much for your continued support. If you don't follow us over on Instagram, go ahead. I am a little more consistent there. It's just so much easier to just do like a daily update or like show you little clips of our daily routine there. Um, but I'm not going to neglect you guys here anymore. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your patience. I will see you guys on the next one.